Hey guys, this is Woodshop Junkies and today I'm building a vertical gravity clamp. Right guys, so if you are a hobbyist woodworker like myself, you probably at some stage needed to do some work on the edge of a large board or a long plank. Things like drilling dull holes or fixing things like hinges or even applying edging. But in my case, this can sometimes become a very tedious or annoying process because I find it difficult to stabilize the board on its side so I can work on its edge. Sometimes this requires a variety of clamps and some creative thinking. So today I want to build a gravity actuated edge clamp, a triangle with a slot cut out that I can place different thicknesses of boards into. It will automatically apply pressure, stabilizing the board and allowing me to work on its edge. So to save some time, I've already sized up all the base components for each clamp. Very straightforward, I cut up a few pieces of 3 quarter inch or 18 mil plywood boards on the table saw and then simply cut them to the correct length using my miter saw. The idea is to use these basic components to assemble a U-shaped type of cradle that I can use to insert my boards into and support them on their sides. Once the U-cradle is assembled, I'm going to add the pusher blocks that will automatically apply pressure to the board and stabilize it on its edge. Now before I can assemble the U-cradle, there's a bit of preparation I need to do first, like doubling up on the vertical boards for a bit of additional strength and then a few cosmetic touches I need to add as well. I'm gluing together two boards to double up the verticals for additional strength, but mostly so that the thickness of the verticals will match the width of the pusher blocks that will be installed later on. While allowing the glue to set, I prep the foot or base pieces. I'm going to be fixing them to the verticals using screws and glue, so I drilled pilot holes for the screws. I also added a cosmetic chamfer around the upper outer edge of the base pieces using my trim router. For the uprights or vertical components, I trimmed the corners with my miter saw to create a triangular shape in the finished product. Then to reduce the weight of the finished product, I made a few cutouts in the vertical components. To make removing the cutouts a bit easier, I drilled holes at the corners of each cutout using a fastener bit. I could then use a jigsaw to remove the bulk of the cutout.
I finished off the cutout by tidying up the edges using a flush trim bit and my trim router and softened the edges with a small chamfer. Right guys, so that is pretty much the basic framework of the clamp or the U-shaped cradle and up to now I haven't gone into a crazy amount of detail because everything I did was mostly cosmetic and I haven't used any techniques I haven't shown on the channel before. The most important aspects of the basic framework is the width of the base and the height of the verticals. Increasing the width of the base will increase the stability of the clamp while higher verticals will allow me to better support wider boards. Then the gap between the verticals will play a critical role in the maximum thickness of board that I will be able to use with the clamp. But when I designed it, I figured a door would probably be the widest, largest and heaviest board that I will ever need to be able to support on its side. But if I ever need to support larger boards, I can simply scale the design. Right, so now things are going to get a little bit more complicated. I need to install the mechanism that will apply automatic pressure to any thickness board that gets placed in the clamp. And the way I hope to achieve this is by installing pusher blocks that will be actuated by the weight of the board. Which means that when the board is placed inside the clamp, the pusher blocks need to automatically move into a position where they secure the board. Once the board is removed, they need to automatically move to their open or neutral position. Now to achieve this movement, I'm going to be installing linkages on pivots to attach the pusher blocks to the U-shaped cradle. So for my linkages, I bought a piece of aluminium flat bar like this and using my grinder from the flat bar, I was able to cut a whole bunch of aluminium blanks like this that will ultimately become my linkages. I then drilled a hole at each end of the blanks where the pivot points will be. And then finished off the linkages by rounding the ends using my belt sander. The most important aspect of the linkages is the gap between the pivot points. It needs to be the same for all the linkages or the design will not work. Then you will notice that I drilled holes exactly in line on the verticals over here. I then copied that spacing exactly on the pusher block and drilled the holes through the width of the block. So next I'm going to fix the pusher blocks to the U-shaped cradle using the linkages by installing bolts into the pivots. Right, so now you'll probably be able to note how I went about calculating the pivot spacing on the linkages. When the linkages are in line on the horizontal plane, the pusher blocks will be pretty much right up against each other. But when I move the pusher blocks upwards, the rotation of the linkages will increase the gap between the pusher blocks. I used washers to act as spaces between the linkages and the uprights. This is to allow the free rotation of the linkages without pinching the uprights. For the time being, I am capping the pivot bolts with dome nuts, which may come loose during use. 
So I'm going to test the concept and then add thread locker to the bolts. Right, so now I have more or less achieved the movement I'm going for, but at this stage the mechanism is definitely not stable, especially considering the fact that I'm going to be putting boards and planks on their side inside the clamp. I need the pusher blocks to stay in line with the vertical plane when moving between closed and open. To achieve this, I'm going to install a second set of linkages to each pusher block. Okay, so now I have the movement I was looking for. The pusher block is always in line with the vertical plane because the distance between the pivot points on the linkages are all the same and the distance between the pivot holes on the U-shaped bracket is the same as the ones on the pusher block. Next, I'm going to install springs to keep the pusher blocks in their open position until weight is applied to the clamp. The springs I'm using are not very strong at all. Their function is to keep the pusher blocks open, but when something is placed in the clamp, it needs to completely overpower the spring to draw the pusher blocks down. Okay guys, so that is pretty much what I had in mind for the mechanism and at this point there's only one component outstanding. One that needs to pull the pusher blocks down into their clamping position when a board or plank is applied or inserted into the U-shaped cradle. For this I'm going to use a piece of webbing to link the two pusher blocks together and create a little basket. When weight is applied to this basket it will pull the pusher blocks into their closed position. The clamp was designed to be used in a set and the results surpassed even my own expectations. It was very stable and the beauty of the mechanism is the fact that the more force applied, the more secure the workpiece is. Like in situations when you are working on the edge of the workpiece. The clamp is also much stronger than I anticipated and able to handle a decent amount of weight. Right, so that's pretty much it for the Woodshop Junkies Vertical Gravity Clamp. And I would love to hear your guys' input on this project. Do you think this is a useful addition to the woodworking community? And do you see yourself using something like this in your own workshop? Then, as I mentioned in my previous shop update video, I am working on an all new plans website. So, if this is the type of project that you guys want to see plans for, let me know in the comments down below. And that is pretty much it for my Vertical Gravity Clamp. I had a great time designing, building and testing it and I think it's going to be a great addition to my shop. If you guys enjoyed this project and you want to see more of them, remember to subscribe. And with that comes the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Cheers.